Let's hear it. So you have to imagine. Let's hear it. You have to imagine. You have to imagine that we're not from Ontario. He got it on the hat. Pee wee. Pee wee. Pee wee and a piece of ours singing back and forth. Side by each. Okay. So this is. We have to visualize. Yeah. This is Pee-wee and Gijoli speaking. We got Pee-wee and Gijoli. This is Pee-wee and Gijoli speaking at Memphis. After many, many fights. After many, many fights. Okay. I don't believe it. If I had a hundred dollars, if I had a hundred dollars, I'd buy you some Inuit art. Maybe a nice little soapstone seal. If I had a hundred dollars. If I had a hundred dollars, I'd buy you some Putin <laughs> and some Tupperware to put it in. If I had a hundred dollars, we'd each have forty bucks. Hey, wait, that's okay. That's what not to speak in Ontario, eh? Wow, Ricky. If I had a hundred dollars, I'd buy a Chevette and soup it up. Yeah! If I had a hundred dollars, we'd I'd drink milk. Mr. Clean and puke it up. If I had a hundred dollars, we wouldn't have to eat craft dinner. Say the mash. No. Je t'aime the craft dinner. A bit fromage? A bit fromage blanc. Too bad. <laughs> that stuff is terrible for you, man. Oh, oh yeah, like you were the king of cuisine. You know what this guy eats? Breakfast, lunch, and dinner? A Joe Louis and a Pepsi, that's it. <laughs> Special cakes, man, it's delicious. <laughs> but I must say, it was very hard to dip the Joe Louis in the can. What? <laughs> it's very hard to dip the Joe Louis in the can. I go to the dining room. If I had a hundred dollars, if I had a hundred dollars, I'd buy you a chip wagon. Now freeze, beep, beep, freeze. If I had a hundred dollars, if I had a hundred dollars, I'd buy you something illegal, like a nice big black ball of hash. If I had a hundred dollars, I'd post your bail. Hey, why would you post my bail? Hey, you got caught with the ash. <laughs> if I had a hundred dollars, we wouldn't have to walk to see horse. If I had a hundred dollars, we'd take North Bay Transpo because they cost more. If I we wouldn't have to jam and tempt you. Hey, why, are you why do you tell me that this jamming and tempting is not fun? Oh, I'm just jealous, that's all. You know what? I'm, we're sitting here, we're playing songs. Look at, we're taking a sip every three minutes. They're taking a sip every three seconds. I'm jealous, that's all. I tell you, I, I think it's because you get mostly upset at our outrageous French accent. It's, your uh, your accent is outrageous. I I I think I sound just like our former Prime Minister Jean Chrétien. Oh my God! Oh no, 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 eh? no, 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 no. You know he's a friend of mine. Jean Chrétien is. He's a friend. Yeah, very close. Amazing friend. me. We uh, flew from the Temkin International Airport <laughs> to Zimbabwe. Jean Chrétien don't a fish true. <laughs> and we are disembarking from the plane, and uh, it is in August day, eh? and it is hot. Do you know how hot it is in August, eh? So the sweat is coming down John Gretchen's face and he takes out of his uh, suitcase a big furry hat. Like uh, from Ontario, like a fox or wolf or something, I don't know. But it's furry and it's August and it's hot. The sweat is coming down his face. And I said to John Gretchen, why are you wearing that big furry hat? And he looked at me very serious. And he said, every time I go to the trip, I always ask my wife what I should pack and what I should wear. And I listened to her. So last night I was taking the trip, but I was packing. My wife said, where are you going? I tell her Zimbabwe. She looked at me, say, where the fox at? Where the fox at? <laughs> Cruel. If I had a hundred dollars, if I 